Hey, it's Teresa here. So you have to forgive me for the red face and the flushed exterior. I just left the gym. And for a moment today, after I got done crying, I felt a moment of freedom. I felt a moment where I'm clear of the weight of the things that were burdening me. Even in all the losses that I've experienced. So um, here I am on June, yes, June 26th. I'm thinking that I might be engaged right now and not even having a boyfriend. Thinking that I would be attending a friend's wedding who I've been friends with for 20 years. And um, all I have is the option to watch it online. Thinking that I'd be finishing up my um, what would be my 15th year of teaching and I was let go of my job thinking that my daughter would you know always be you know illness free and facing the potential that she might have kidney disease you know knowing God as a provider and not having enough you know, thinking that I'm cared and loved and having this season of COVID remind me that all I have is God and Ayana, of course, because Ayana is always there. But in this moment of lack, and when I say lack, I don't mean a lack of gratefulness to God because I'm always thankful for God's grace. When I mean lack, I mean the external trappings of our life. The things that people brag about and lie about on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. People, you know, sharing their fabulous lives all neatly cut up, you know, and, uh, and all these beautiful trappings with the big red bow on the top because you know the bow has to be red, but they're empty on the inside. And I know my fair share of emptiness. I know more than my fair share of pain. But in that moment, before I walked into the gym, I felt a moment of freedom. And the reason why I felt that moment of freedom is because I have the ability in this moment, just like many of you have the ability in this moment, to start over afresh, to start over brand new. I have absolutely nothing to hold me back anymore except for Teresa. And so in this moment, I'm gonna take the bull by the horns as best as I can to move towards my healing, to move towards my wholeness, to only focus on those relationships that are two-sided, meaning I'm not putting in all the work Meaning that other person doesn't feel as if they're putting in all the work, but that we equally value the relationship and what it brings to each of us equally. I'm at a place of wanting to explore the vastness of the gifts that God has given me and not wanting to accept anything less than his goodness and his best for me. So I just wanted to share that it was a freeing moment, even in the midst of another very painful um, situation, but that means that I'm free and I don't have, as Pinocchio said, any strings holding me and I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do where I can go, who I can be without um, without bondage to acceptance and self-worth and wanting to be loved and accepted by others because um, God loves me and I need to learn how to love me the way God loves me, even if no one else does. Which is...